Hi everyone, welcome to my very messy desk. It's a bit of a mess in my studio because I've been working on um, the watercolors and creating the new stock. So it's been very much full on. And um, so when I work um, on the watercolors, I do need certain layout on my desk um, with the pigments and everything so that's why I'm kind of squeezed in this very small space but I do want to keep up with the videos on YouTube so that's why I'm coming in to film this so <clears throat> today I just wanted to highlight a little bit of something for those of you who are interested in lettering and I am sort of a beginner myself so I'm not uh, a professional when it comes to lettering um, but I'm learning and I have learned a few things so a couple of things I can share with you and recommend and hopefully that will help you what I found quite useful um, when it comes to doing lettering personally is um, these type of pens and I will also show you this one so I've seen quite a few people use a water um, brush this is a pencil one that you just basically use watercolors to do your brush lettering I personally don't find it as comfortable as this type of a, of a marker so there are two types here that I have the Tombow are very very good and they have on one side they have this tip right here so you can see and then on the other side I have a finer tip um, and so this is the brush tip which is very good and comfortable for brush lettering and then the other type I would recommend is this midliner now what I've done is I was out one day in Cambridge and I popped into one of those stationery shops and I found this uh, set which I was amazed because for a while I couldn't find midliners um, available on UK Amazon so I kind of really wanted to try them out. Unfortunately the only color they had was this set which is like a um, like a pastel neon colors so they're they're all highlighter colors but very much um very much sort of you know very pale because you do need a bit of color to see what you are writing on the paper now the idea here is same thing so you get a nice brush tip like that and then on the other side you get a finer tip so for detailing if you wish so the that's this set now I went on Amazon thereafter and I found more sets so I found three sets which were at a really good price so there was this one this one and this one repeated and I thought I'll just give it away to someone like a um, friend or something I actually ended up giving it to my mom um, but yeah well originally I offered it to Mason he said no I don't want it so <laughs> it went to my mom um, so yeah these colors are beautiful however I didn't realize when I was ordering that I ordered something completely different and this is what uh, what I wanted to share with you so you don't make the same mistake so these are different in the sense that if I hold them next to each other you'll see they're a bit shorter and the main thing is the cap so you can see this one is a transparent cap and this one is a solid cap so and when you open it, you will find that the tip is a chisel tip. So it's not great for the type of... Um, this end is exactly the same. So yeah, it's not great for the type of brush lettering that I had in mind. But you can do calligraphy with this chisel tip as well, as you can see here. Um, and then... I will show you that in a bit. The colors are really, really beautiful, but I'm so disappointed because it was my mistake. I should have maybe, you know, paid a bit more attention. And, and the colors are all in Japanese, I assume, so I can't really, I, I can't read the colors. So it's a shame that we can't get them here in UK. Um, um, yeah, a bit more easier. And I had to wait weeks and weeks and it actually... It was over a month. It was even delayed by a week. So, yeah, that was a very long time. Okay, 
all that waiting for basically nothing so that's what i wanted to show you and just do a little bit of uh, lettering with you just to show you the difference now i got this magazine and i shared it i think last week uh, so simply lettering and it is if you're in uk uh, it's available obviously here it might be available in other stores as well so have a look at this video if you want to see what comes in this magazine but it's quite neat uh, it gives you a little calendar that you can uh, do some uh, lettering on the other side and just a fun way to spend some cold evenings if you have any time to yourself that is Anyway, so throughout the magazine, I saw them featuring this beautiful pen. I just saw it again when I was showing it to you. And I was wondering what pen, there we go, here it is. I was wondering what pen it is. And I found it a little bit uh, further in the magazine. So I really like this and I will try to see if I can get my hands on it. And I hope I will be able to do that. So this is pen, this pen comes in this set. It's called manuscript now if i find it i'll try to link it for you um don't buy all of them leave some for me as well please <laughs> so what you get here is this beautiful teal colored elongated um, handle with three different nibs and one is silver one is sort of like a bronzy color and the other one is uh, a blue so quite quite unique and you also get what I assume is probably some quite basic black ink I wouldn't expect this to be anything too special but I'm fine with inks I have loads of inks to go and if you're a beginner you would just want any uh, black ink anyway so and then basically that is um that is that what I wanted to share with you. But the thing that I wanted to have a look at. Oh yes, yeah, so let's do this little exercise right here. So I'm just going to close it. And I will use the Tombow pans. Let's see if I can find the color. I'll do the blue one. And then here I'll do the teal one like that. And then I'll do the purple okay let's do purple so i'm going to start with the with the tombow this is the 553 so usually with brush lettering on the downstroke is when you are pressing so that um up stroke goes very lightly and then downstroke press this is a very light color so you can hardly see anything at all let me go for a slightly darker color Okay, so then down stroke, up stroke. I suppose you're not going to see that much because it's grey. And so therefore it's been made for you to follow, to learn. And now we're going to do it ourselves. Okay, so I'm going to start again. I'm going to start here, do a down stroke. Uh, uh, sorry, upstroke and downstroke. Again, upstroke and downstroke. Upstroke and downstroke. So that's the Tombow one. And now let's try the mild liner. So same thing, upstroke, downstroke. That's why you need darker colors, hence why I ordered all of these sets. But obviously that's not going to help me because it's a different brush tip. So the tip is extremely flexible. As I'm pressing down, I can see that the tip basically lies down completely. Um, so they're really fun. Now let's try the other one. So the bolt, which is like a chiseled end, um, this is not really made for this at all. So I'll see what I can do. So I'm just going to touch the edge, just the very tip, and then press harder. I mean, you can do, but it's just not the same thing. It's just a different experience. There we go. 
So this one, the middle one felt the best, if you want my opinion, for me personally. The midliner, the brush tip felt really, really good. So that's what essentially you do. You can also use um, dip pens with this particular magazine. They teach you how to do it with all sorts of things. There's also a fake way of doing it, which I will show you with a slightly darker pen. So the fake way is, maybe I should go with this black one. So I'm using the zebra brush tip I think it's called so the fake way of doing things is you could for example I'll show you actually in my in the back here so I've been trying some lettering right here so basically oh these are the swatches by the way for those two sets so this set right here is are the swatches over here which they're uh, really nice I just kind of wanted a different purple this one is a little bit a little bit neon neon like these are gorgeous I absolutely love these this is like um, what's that Tim Holtz tumbled glass or something distress oxide it kind of sort of reminds me of that very pretty grayish moody type of a dull down blue and the rest are great coral and this beautiful yellow I just absolutely love it it's like a honey honeycomb yellow all right so let's have a look okay so here is the fake way of doing it so I will show you again with the dark gray so you just do let's do hello so we go up and then pushing down we are creating a fatter line and then up again and pushing down and then to the side and down as soon as you're starting to go up lift it and then again push down and up and push down some letters are find easier than others so let's say that was it you can go ahead and maybe correct a little bit of here and there if you find it it needs some sort of correcting or touching up but pretty much that's done with one uh, writing so if you have a different pen so this one actually does a similar thing so let's see you can go right on the tip and then press yeah, I'll actually show you with a different one. So let me see if it's bleeding through. No, it's not. And then... Now, if you have a very basic pen, I will show you with like a fountain pen. What you can do is you just basically, no matter how hard you press, you're going to get the same line throughout. So to fake it, what you're going to do, and this takes obviously a lot longer than this, is wherever it's a downstroke, you're just going to thicken the line up like that on both sides. And that kind of creates this fake illusion of brush lettering. So even if you don't have a pan, you can still give it a go. Just think about where is the um, upline and downline. And you just kind of need to train your brain um, of doing that because I, I actually found myself misspelling quite a few words because I'm so concentrating um, on doing the, you know, the right pressure and where to press harder, where to press less. So then you can also correct things. Like if you want it to be rounder, um, you can do that. So if you, would, if you want to fatten the line up a little, 
you can add a bit of ink on the other side like so for instance here and there you go so that's a, a similar way of doing it just a fake one as I call it and that is your brush lettering now I the couple of letters particularly H I really like how I do it uh, there are some letters I really struggle with and that's what I want ooh, that's what I want to learn here just by trying all sorts of different things um, I wish they had like a they do have an alphabet but this isn't really fun so this is uppercase alphabet and lowercase and the font isn't great I I don't think so but for example there is the R which I never um, actually back in school days this is how I used to do the R you know so that there we go you can faintly see it it's basically it goes like that with a little curly bit and then really fat bottom like that so that's how I used to do the R's and then at some point I started doing the other R when writing and that's it I could never again do this R which I find really beautiful in brush lettering but it's just a lot harder to do so that is it for today oh there's some fancy ones over here again a beautiful R so these are a little bit more curly these would be great to do with a fountain pen I think yeah it says here ideal for um, dip pens because you can get really fine line and then you know just play around with it but um, make sure you're using a nib that will spread out so same thing when you're going to push harder you're going to get a thicker line um, so with this pen it's not going to work but you need uh, one of those nibs that will spread open and do that for you so that when you press harder it spreads a little bit and then through that gap the ink flows out more so this is how you get a thicker line so let me just show it again uh, here so here she's doing some brush lettering with a calligraphy pen or dip pen rather there you go doesn't want to focus there we go all right and the answer it's upside down is the picture they put up not me <laughs> um let's see where was that one the one that I showed you with that pen so here in this case I think it would be this nib it looks like it would spread nicely not sure what this one does but yeah so that's it I hope you enjoyed this little slightly different video to, us to usual videos on this channel but it's quite fun so thanks for watching and see you soon